Today we are going to see how to send email to multiple records. Like here we have different entities called accounts, contact, lead opportunity and there may be so many custom entities as well. So if you open any, uh, suppose let's open contacts. And here we have a lot of records like 14 records. There may be 50 or 250 like that. And I want to send the same mail to all the users. So here currently we do, we do not have any option to send directly mail to any one of them. We have another option to email a link, but I, I don't want that. I want to se select or if I want to select this particular person, three people, I want to send the same mail. So currently we do not have that op option. Now in order in order to achieve that, what we need to do is we have to go for, we have to enable it in the system. Just go to the advanced setting. Under the setting, uh, we have go go for the administrator administration under setting under system. Click there. And here there, there should be a system setting. In system setting, we'll be able to modify uh, all those email options and this formats, auditing, all those things. So currently let's focus on email only. And if you scroll down here, you can see enable send direct email. The send direct email, it, it is a ribbon button. So just select yes and okay. So as soon as you click on okay, now if we go to contact, if we come to contacts, here currently we do not have that send direct email. Now if I refresh it, And if I select all of them, and let's see uh, where is send direct email should appear here. Now you see send direct email option is available here. Now if you want to go for the opportunity only, opportunity or lead or any other entity, here also the same button should be available. So if I am selecting this all and here you can see send direct email. So just click on send direct email. And here we have a, we have an option to select the either all uh, default template as well as you can create the template also. So currently I'll just select any template. Mm -hmm. Who knows whom introduction. And here you can see uh, what are the contents. Now let's go for send. Now uh, see uh, we, are, we have selected multiple con multiple records. So it may take some one, two or five minutes in order to reflect in your timeline. So uh, let's check if it is reflecting here or not. Who knows whom? Okay, currently it is not reflecting. Okay, it may take some one or two minutes uh, to reflect it. Meanwhile, I'll tell you another way uh, through which we can do the same same task: sending email to multiple uh, contacts or our accounts. So right, we, what we can do is we have the option of workflow. In the workflow, we can create a, we can create create on demand workflow or background background workflow. There we can define the parameter to send the email properties and all. And after that, we have the option here flow. So under this, we should get an option like this. I have already created on one workflow send email. So once you click on that, this you'll be able to send. So I have already created. Let me show you here. If I go to contacts, first of all, let me show the workflow which I have created. Go for the processes. Under the process. Okay. Why oh, it is not showing up? Okay, go to advanced setting. To process. Okay, and here I have mail called send mail contact. Okay, this is it. This is in activated state right now. So if you click on this, you can see I have activated it as uh, always choose workflow. And here we have two options either you can uh, run it as a background process or only one process. So background process means whenever like you can you need to define the parameters like uh, whenever a record is created or the status is changed or <clears throat> whatever these things if you click on this then uh, it will work as a background. Now if you want it to trigger it manually then you can go for as an on demand process. So whenever you run it that time it will work it will trigger. So I have chosen this one and here you can uh, set the parameter to send email 
here uh, how to show one minute you come here create email test category as workflow entity to be account no okay fine and okay So here uh, you, we can we always have the option to uh, convert the background process into this convert to real time workflows. So here in the add step you can just select send email, select email and in the set properties we can define from who will be sending and who will be receiving and all the subject things we can define here. So if here in the account created by add and to whom to honor subject select anything and just put anything save and close and after this you just have to activate the workflow once you activate it it will reflect in under the account form so currently i have it under the contact form if you see here here it is under co contact and i have given the scope as organization as of now so let's check the contact i'm selecting a test alex baker let's select all of them okay so here we have option to send direct mail but we have already checked this one so we'll just go with the flow under the flow we have the option of we should get send mail contact so only when the workflow is inactivated is activated state we'll get this option so just send email okay it may take some time as we have selected multiple contacts okay now let's open this one and the time is 24 so let's see if it is reflecting here okay uh, so it is showing uh, just now i sent it email from this ggg was the <clears throat> subject so here we have achieved this one now, now if we check the previous one through send direct email let's come here in the contact open any of the contact this is the first step where we created uh, we enabled the <clears throat> email setting under the system under the customization so see here you can see that see you at event xyz <clears throat> it is reflecting here just refresh it okay and let's go for earlier it was lead i guess you can try it on any any of this entities you can just select it and send the mail and under that and if you open that record under the timeline it should reflect that what are the emails have been sent there introduction mail okay this was the not up next here call with rachel these are all, all i have already tried so this is these are the options for sending the email to multiple to multiple records i'll just show you once again send direct email as well as under the flow we have the option of send email for that we have to create one workflow and we have to activate it and we have to choose the choose the entity that's all for today